Can you imagine a world in which our very possessions call the cops on us if we do anything wrong? Newsflash, we're already there. In early December 2015, a driver named Kathy Bernstein allegedly was involved in two hit-and-run collisions back-to-back -back in Port St. Lucie, Florida. But her car wasn't going to stay quiet about it. Instead, it automatically dialed 911, and that's how police were able to identify her as a suspect. Bernstein drives a Ford outfitted with a 911 assist system. The purpose of the system is to contact emergency services through a voluntarily paired cell phone if it detects that the vehicle has been involved in an accident. It gives responders a chance to track down someone who may be unable to call for help. Bernstein didn't speak to an operator on that first call, so the car did what it was programmed to do. It handed over important data, assuming the driver was incapacitated. The supplemental information included the make and model of the vehicle, the time the incident happened, and even the GPS coordinates of the car. A 911 operator later spoke with Bernstein, who denied that she had been involved in an accident, but the operator persisted that the systems don't call emergency services randomly. In fact, the operator flat out asked Bernstein if she had left the scene of an accident, which Bernstein denied. Police paid a visit to Bernstein and took her to a hospital for treatment before escorting her to jail. Also being treated at that hospital was one of the other drivers involved in the accidents. Talk about awkward. Ford spokesman Alan Hall told the Washington Post that the car did exactly what it was supposed to do. Bernstein could have been badly injured as a result of the accidents, and the call could have saved her life. Soon, this sort of technology will be in many more cars. The European Union will require all new vehicles to include similar emergency assist systems beginning in 2018. That's pretty interesting since the EU tends to place a high value on people's privacy. Car systems like these have the potential to strip away some of that privacy in favor of safety. Though at the moment, the 911 assist is an opt-in feature. Drivers have to turn it on and pair their phone with the system in order for it to work. In the end, maybe we should be thankful that systems like these could cut down on hit-and-run incidents, even if it does turn our possessions into tattletales. To hear more high-impact stories, make sure to visit now.howstuffworks.com every day to keep up with the most important stuff happening right now.